Adventure awaits. Look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card from among them and put it in your hand. Put the rest in the bottom of your library in any random order. If you didn't put a land card in your hand, this card, draw a card. This card is phenomenal. You're always going to play it. So. Um, it's five cards deep for like an amazing, you're, you're, you know, the reason why you're playing green is probably some sort of great creature. Five cards deep looking for that creature. It also is a card if you're mana screwed. You keep a tune later on the play. You can actually just play this. And then even if there's a target there, you can just choose not to select it. And you just, you just cycle it for two. So this card is great. Always, always play it. Broken Wing is a story target artifact, enchantment, or creature of flying. Uh, you're probably not going to play this. Uh, from evidence and other colors, I haven't really seen a reason to play this card. I can imagine a card. it's going to be a fantastic sideboard card, especially in like a blue deck. I can rebuy it. Uh, Canopy Baloth. Whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, I guess plus two, plus two. Yep, always going to play it. Four, three. Really good aggro card. Dauntless Savior. Survivor, rather. When Dauntless Survivor enters the battlefield by a counter entire creature, you probably never going to... Like, Iron Shield Beetle is what this card was in the past. Obviously, this is like a party member's set. It's a warrior, so it's probably... It's a good aggro good aggro type. Um, I would expect you're almost never going to play this card. Iron Shield Beetles in the past have always been traps. And Iron Shield Beetles have also similarly been like part of plus plus one counters matter stuff in the past, and it's always been a trap. So you should almost never play this card. Um, Neuralid Colony. In Neuralid Colony, you're scared to put an Angel's Battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it. So this is a five and a four for a trample that might give something else trample. Yeah. You'll play it. It'll be fine. It's not as strong as it looks. From looking at other colors, like five and a four five is apparently a red common now. So having a five minute four four is just like whatever when it comes to green. But yeah, you'll play it. You'll be out. I mean, it'll do. It'll be fine. Draw a visionary four minute three two draw card. Yep. <laughs> Always play it. Whenever I land a battlefield under your control, gain one life. That's a hard pass for me, dog. People love these types of effects. I am not one of them. Gaining life does not win me the game. Zondu Stomper, 6 mana, 6 5 trample. Whenever it enters the battlefield, return up to two lands you control to their owner's hand. This is great. Always play it. Stat line is good. Trample is good. You might bounce a spell. This, this card is fantastic. And it might actually. It also, this also might cost 5 mana because even if you don't bounce like a spell land, um, you can just like bounce a basic land and replay it. And that's, you know, that's your land for the turn, right? If it's on turn 7 or something. It also triggers your landfalls two more times. This card is fantastic. Always play it. Mind of Mirasa. Target creature gets plus three, plus three until the turn. If that spell is kicked, that creature gets plus five, plus five until the turn instead. I don't like it. Unlike the, the red one scries, this one does not. So I would I would probably... I, I hate these types of effects. So I Giant Growth is a card I almost... Like Titanic Growth is a card I almost never played. And I think Titanic Growth is better than this, which is just two mana plus four, plus four. So, I I don't like it. Um, although green so far has tramples, right? It has two tramplers. So, my evaluation on this can change. If green has a ton of tramplers, my, my, I would expect it to not be good. Um, turn timber aesthetic. When there's a battlefield, gain through life. This card's great. Always play it. Good stat line. Great ability. Cleric. Cleric is phenomenal for green. Everything about it is good. Territorial Scythe Cat. Oh, another Trampler. Whenever it enters the battlefield under your control, put a counter on Territorial Scythe Cat. Yeah, this is good. You're always going to play it. It's not a party member. So I guess not, that's not a party member means you might nece not necessarily always play it, but I think you're probably almost always going to play this card. It's probably going to be a 3-mana 4-3 Trample. It's worse than I thought. It being an X1, meaning like it dies to ping effects. But it doesn't die for ping effects very long. And it has trample. I think that trample makes it... If it didn't have trample, I'd be off it. I think the fact that it has trample is good. And it's a plus and plus one counter, so it might trigger plus and plus one counter matters cards. Uh, Snarecaster, 1-4 reach. Spiders are almost never playable. This is no surprise. I mean, this is a rogue in green, but don't play it. One minute, one death touch. Rogue and green, off it. Don't play it. These type of cards are, I mean, 
if you're a really slow deck if you're a really slow deck that's like low in removal i can see playing the black blade the problem with these cards like the snare caster and black blade is they don't pay you to stick around um so you're, you're like your opponent can just you imagine the scenario where you're, like your opponent attacks with this like a canopy bailoth right here's what happens you attack with, like you think you're going to be attacking with a canopy bailoth or they're going to be attacking with a canopy bailoth with like, landfall so it's like a six five and you block with your black blade and it dies you're like hell yeah dude but that's not reality what actually happens is they like attack with like a two two or a three three or whatever and then they just don't attack with canopy bailoth and then so you just start you, you're tree you're left with the choice of return of like okay do i trade my blight blade for their second or third best creature or do i not because it's holding back their best creature and so you just take a bunch of damage and eventually you're forced to trade off with their second or third best creature and then they still have the best creature around so that that's the reality of how these cards work um and so they don't pay you to stick around you're like it's not beginning of upkeep gain one life or something they don't do that so totally off the same thing with the reach card and it doesn't even have two power so like all the flyers that attack are going to have at least two toughness so it doesn't even stop a pair of two twos from attacking you you're still going to take damage this is, i'm just off it um strengths of solidarity but two star creature you control put a counter on it for each creature in your party the fact that it costs one is pretty awesome um historically in the past there have been like three mana flash enchant creatures that get plus two plus two and they've almost always been unplayable so this being a slow it's sorcery but it costs one mana so you can play it on turn four like you can play two drop warrior three drop warrior turn four play like a cleric or a wizard and then play this and it's like plus two plus two and it could probably push us through your two drop it makes turn your two two into a four four I think I'm on board with Strengths of Solidarity in the right deck. I think you don't always play this card. But I think I can be on... I think the fact that it costs one mana is pretty awesome. Skeleton Heights. And there's also a ton of Tramplers in green. So... This probably gets a lot of value. Skeleton Heights. Don't play this card. Two in a green. Put a counter on up to one target creature. You gain two life. You may play additional land this turn. Draw a card. This card. Don't play this card. Um... Understand that this has only one target. Imagine you play Scale the Heights and you target your creature. If they kill your creature, you do not gain two life and you do not play additional land this turn and you do not draw a card. Because this card only has one target. Um, if I was going to be the designer of this card, I would say target player gains two life instead of you gain two life. And then it wouldn't have the possibility of, of destroying you like this one does. Especially since it's a slow card, so... And you're going to probably want to play this main phase one, but you want to play an extra land, right? And put a counter in your creature before you attack. Don't play this card. It's a trap. Reclaim the Waste. Search library for a basic land card. Reveal it and put it in your hand. Then shuffle your library. If the spell is kicked, search library for two basic lands instead of one. This card's great. Yeah, this card is good. You're always going to play it. Just make sure you have at least eight force, eight green sources in your deck. Don't play this in a seven green source deck. Otherwise, it's a great card. Always play it. Rapid Bites. Target creature you control deals damage equal to his power. Okay, so it doesn't fight. Target creature you can... Yeah, it doesn't fight. You just, you just throw your power at somebody. Great. Always play it. So, not much to say about it. This is Edicon. A channel land is a 4 elemental creature with reach and haste. It stole land. When it dies, return a card to your hand. I hate it. This card is bad. Do not play it. Off it. Tuna Green. 3-3 three, three Warrior. You might play it. You might not. A vast majority of the time, these cards are just barely playable and, and sealed. The fact that it's actually a warrior is actually its saving grace. If it wasn't a warrior, you'd, you'd never play this card. But it's a warrior, you might play it. You're not happy about it, but you might play it. All right. Uh, 11, 11 commons that are decent. Forming a 3-2 draw card. is also a wizard in green, which is phenomenal. Turn Timber Ascetic, Kazandu Stomper, Canopy Bailoff. It has some great, great stuff going on. I'm kind of excited. Not as good as red. So I think its commons are worse than red and blue. So it's probably third best commons.